Hey mom, wanted to do a series of videos for you to introduce you to your new iPad. Here it is, nice blue cover. And when you open the cover, it automatically turns on. Off, on, off, on. And the cover is magnetic, so it folds over all the way. And I usually like to go ahead and just pull it all the way around the back. It's attached by magnets over here. And then you go ahead and use your iPod when you're done, or iPad, and then when you're done, you just pull the cover all the way over the top, and it switches off. Now, um, you can also, if you, there's a power switch up here on the top, right there, and I click it, turns it off, click it turns it on. Now if you turn it on this way or if it's been idle for a while you'll be met with this screen here. This is kind of the lock screen but um, we don't have a password on yours. Whoopsie. So all I need to do is swipe it along the bottom and it opens right up. Now if you want to turn it off for a while you don't have to really do this. The iPad in standby mode I believe will last uh, I think they said a month either 10 days or a month something like that. A long time. So you almost never need to turn it off um, well, turn it off like it's totally off, because this is obviously not totally off. It's kind of going, it goes into sleep mode, right? So it's asleep, now it's awake. Okay, but to turn it all the way off, all you need to do, that power button up there on top again, where's my fingers? Power button up here. If I click on that power button and I hold it down, it does this. It says, oh, you want to turn it all the way off? And now I, I swipe it again, And then it turns it all the way off. So now I can close it. I'm all done. Now when I pick it up next time, it's not going to pop open. Why? Because I turned it all the way off. So to turn it back on, again, power switch up on top. Hold it down for a couple seconds. Open it. And I get the little mouth, uh, little apple guy. Hey, waiting. Okay, so now it's, it's ready to go. So I swipe it. And we're back, back to normal. So you won't need to do that too often. But um, sometimes you want to shut it down all the way if you don't, if you anticipate not using it for days and days and days. But we're hoping that because this thing is so handy and so easy to use, that uh, that won't be an issue. And then when you're done using it, all you need to do is close the cover, and we're done. Hi, mom. So let's talk a little bit about this fancy schmancy cover. See, it's kind of connected here. It's actually magnetic. And so what happens is, when I open it, it turns on the iPad. And you saw me flip it all the way along the back, right? I doubled it over. And I usually like holding it kind of this way. And um, kind of just like a book. Now, this cover actually does come off. So if I just pull on it, I pull on it, it comes off. This is, right? Now, you can see it was a little tough for me to get it disconnected, which is a good thing, okay? Because you don't want to just fall off. So again, here is, here is the... Uh, cover, right? And here is the iPad. And it's going to match just along the edge. And you hear the click? Okay, so now it's matched. And then when I pull it all the way around, that's it. Okay, so now the other, the other use for the cover, which is kind of cool, let me push this back just a little bit so you can see, is I'm going to flip it open. And then I'm going to flip it one more time. See, it's kind of flipping in on itself like it's like it's folding. Uh, right there. So it's closed, over, over, and then all the way along the back, it becomes a stand. So then I can actually, let's push this back even further. I can actually put it, I can put it on the desk. See, so it works on the desk. And then also, so this is how we do the typing. When we do the typing, when we do the typing, I type this way, right? So I just went ahead and flipped it all the way over, and it works really, really good this way. And then also, you can also push it all the way over, and then it becomes like a viewing stand. So that's one of the basics of using this flippy cover. Now I can undo it, undo it all the way, bring it back up. Boom. Okay. Bring it over. 
bring it over, bring it around the back, and it actually does stand pretty well. There you go. Okay, so um, a lot of times you're going to be wanting to use this uh, to not only just read the email but um, or that sort of thing, but you're probably going to want to do a little bit of typing. So what I want to do here is show you, so we're um, opening the case just like I showed you a little bit earlier, flipping it all the way over, right? Let me put this down here. And so, quick bouncing. So here is the case. I'm going to flip it so it's facing towards me. I'm going to go into my little note program here. You see? So now I got a little notepad. I don't know if you can see that very well. A little notepad slipping around. And um, if I want to type, you see how it automatically came up? And I can type. It's a pretty good sized keyboard. You could also, the keyboard will also work this way where it's kind of more in the um, more in the portrait, the landscape, but it's a little bit smaller. You have more, there's more screen space for you to actually, you know, look at what you're looking at, but it's, the keyboard's a little bit smaller. I don't know what you would prefer. Um, my, my sense is for you, especially with the eyesight situation, is that you're going to want to have it more this way. You know, I got it on that little, and then I'm just going to go ahead typing. Of course, I'm doing it upside down. So my brain is going a little crazy, okay? And it just acts just like any kind of typewriter. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so down here in the corner, if I want to get rid of the typewriter, down here in the corner, if I click, it's a little, there's, in the corner is a little, um, little keyboard. If I click it, typewriter goes away, okay? How to bring it back? Sometimes it, it can be a little fussy how it brings back. What I usually do is I just put my finger where I want to start typing, and then it, it starts to do that. It, it brings the keyboard back up, okay? Now, uh, Macintoshes are very famous for only not having a delete key, but having a backspace. So, boom, 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 backspace key, just like any other keyboard. Type, 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 type. Get rid of the keyboard. Bring the keyboard back. And that's basically how to use the keyboard, okay? Hey, Mom, more information about your brand new iPad here. So sometimes when you open it up, turns itself on. Flip that over. Okay, so this is portrait mode, right? And then a lot of times I like to use it more the other way, landscape mode. And you can see it automatically goes back and forth, which is kind of cool, right? So when I'm typing, I probably want to have it this way, right? And then when I'm reading a book, I want to have it this way. Well, this can drive you a little crazy because, you know, so there's a button right back here along the top. See this little button right there? That one right there. And what it is, is it's a lock. So it'll lock the position that you want. So let's say you're doing email, and email tends to be a little easier to do in uh, the landscape mode. So it's in landscape mode. While it's in landscape mode, I'm going to go to that button, and I'm going to lock it. And you'll see a little lock show up. See that lock? So now, when I flip it back and forth, it stays because I've locked it. See, it's it's got that red dot that says it's locked. So now, no matter how I turn it, it's not going to flip on me, okay? Because that can drive me a little crazy. But let's say, okay, so how do I get it back? Well, I'm going to unlock it. So I'm unlocking it. And now it's just going to orient however my screen is oriented. Let's say I want to keep it this way. So now I've got it this position. I'm going to go ahead and hit that little button again. It's, it's red. And then now, it's locked in portrait mode. So, whoops. Wee. Come back. Okay. So now it's in portrait mode. Okay. So that's the lock, the screen lock button. And basically what it does is it, it keeps you from going crazy because sometimes you want it to be this way and sometimes you want it to be this way. Okay. So until you get the handle on it, sometimes it's best to just keep that locked and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So that's the lock button right there. Lock and lock. Lots of fun. Hey, Mom. So, um, one thing I wanted to show you is that even though your iPad doesn't really care which direction you're holding it in, because it can just kind of wee, um, the cover does care. So, if you find yourself trying to put the cover back on 
and it's not working, it's probably because you've got the iPad upside down. So you want to make sure that the bottom, that, that button is on the bottom, and when you have the bottom there, then you want to make sure the gray part of the cover is facing you, and then you just bring them together and they should just snap. Okay? So if it doesn't pop like that, chances are you're holding it upside down, and it, it doesn't want to do that. It goes a little crazy, actually. So if it doesn't pop, then you just want to flip it over, and then it pops right in there. Close it on up, and you're good. Hope that helps. Hey, Mom. So occasionally, like I, I said a little bit earlier, the iPad um, instant on, instant off is kind of a, is a cool thing. But if, every once in a while, especially if you've been uh, listening to music or watching videos, it does run the battery down. The battery will last about 10 hours of usage is kind of the norm. So um, I don't imagine you'll be doing a lot of that. So for the most part, it's not, you know, you could go a long time, several days, in fact, without having to charge it, but eventually you will have to charge it. Now, they, they made the connector in the bottom. It's, it's a little bit, um, it's rounded, and so it's not the easiest thing to put the connector on. So what we've done, well, so if you're going to charge it, right, you need to take the cover off. Take the cover off, okay? And then what I've given you is this guy. This is the docking cradle, and it's attached, little cable back here, and then the cable goes all along to a wall plug. So when you get back to Prescott or wherever you're staying at the time, you know, uh, on the nightstand or on a table, just find some place with, you know, some flat, uncluttered surface, and stick it down, plug this into the wall, and then all you need to do, it's a little bit easier than the um, other way, is you're going to take your iPad and you see the, so here's the connector plug, right, right in the center. And then I got my iPad here. And then I'm going to kind of look at the center. And I'm, I'm actually, I'm leaning it on the back here. Let it slide right on in. And then when it makes contact, you'll hear click. And then you'll see on this side, right there is an icon that's kind of showing that it's charging. So right now you're at 64%. And then um, it'll turn itself off. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There you go. Okay. And then when you're done at the end of the day, yeah, pull it out. So basically sliding along the back toward the center, just drop it in. And when you hear that, bleep, then you know that you've made a, a good connection. And that is all you need to do for, for powering it. Because um, I use mine so much, I pretty much every night, you know, take off the glasses and put the iPad in the little charger and it charges overnight. And then when I'm ready in the morning, I just, let's do that for you here. So in the morning, or when I want to use it, I just pick it up, grab the cover, make sure it's the gray side up, and you hear that little click, and then I'm ready to rumble and take it wherever I need to take the iPad. So that's how you charge it, and um, you don't have to turn it off, like I said, just you do have to take the cover off. That's, a, that's the only bad part is you do have to cover off. And then drop it right into the old. And that's it. Okay. You hit that home key. And then all your programs are available. The ones along the bottom, all these ones over here along the top. And then we have these little folders here that show you other additional programs. Okay. And we'll look through those a little bit later. Okay, so that is kind of a basic um, intro to using your iPad.